Three nutty bits of um, bacon and onions and mushroom on the bottom of the pan here, right? And what you're going for here is finding as much flavor as you can from those bits on the bottom of the pan. Now in this, this obviously just all goes into the sauce, but there are a lot of times when you do it and you don't use it. Like when you do a steak, for example, a pork chop, a lamb chop, anything, often we'll do it like do it on a grill. I'm really quite not that into grills because the best bit is the bits that get stuck on the bottom of the pan, those roasty, toasty goodies on the bottom of the pan. And if, say you do a steak, right, you do a steak, you do it, you turn it, or a pork chop, whatever. You do it, you turn it, you get those lovely gritty bits on the bottom of the pan, right? You get this lovely, that is the essence of the meat. That is like the lip, if you like, the meat juice caramelized on the bottom of the pan. So here I'm not talking about making a sauce right what you're doing you go take the steak out and put it on your plate like a steak or that everyone talks about resting you don't need to rest it by the time you sit down it would be rested it's okay um, then take the pan to one side take it away from the heat put in a few tablespoons of water give it a little stir stir in a knob of butter or a touch of extra virgin olive oil and then you take your steak take your steak and then you roll it in there so you turn the steak around in those juices so you're not talking about having a sauce what the french would call a jus and um, you know, it ends up on lots of restaurant menus to the jus. The, uh, I call it roast gravy because I love the word gravy. Roast gravy, I love gravy. But then if you turn your steak in that, your steak glistens. And it's not just about how it looks so appealing as well because it's glistening. But of course it glistens with the very essence of the meat that you're eating. So you're eating something that's twice as good with the stuff that you might use to just chuck your pan in the sink or it might just go and burn on the grill the next time you wipe it off before you do your aubergines or whatever. Okay, good. Now you see that's boiling now. So what I've got is I've got those juices in there in the sauce. So pop in the cream, that's not actually six tablespoons. So about half of that will be the trick. Okay, so, and by the way, yap too much by the way. I just do a bit more than that. It's a, when I said half, I kind of meant three quarters. I'm never very good at maths, but I can't do it. You have to do it, otherwise it's against. So that's good, that's great. You've got me there now. Uh, good, okay, lovely. Next.